state-of-the-art technologies, innovative business strategies, behind the scenes, insights from cutting-edge users around the globe on World Business Review. The escalating threats to national security and increased use of falsified identities has necessitated strong authentication and secure identity assurance solutions. The price of security is one of the greatest challenges we face today. Homeland Security Foundation of America, or HSFA, is a nonprofit organization established to educate, serve, and protect the public. On the morning of 9-11, it became clear that we are facing a dynamic enemy capable of launching a number of deadly attacks against us in ways that we've never seen before. Since that time, I think uh, a lot of people have moved on with their lives. They may have forgotten what happened that day. But the threat is real. Thousands of innocent people lost their lives to those attacks, and we are still engaged in a major military conflict more than six years down the road. I think one of the most important civil liberties that we have is our right to live. Terrorists want to take that right away from us. They want to kill us because of the very thing that makes us America American and that is our freedom. That's why we have to be vigilant in our efforts to increase awareness of terrorism in the U.S. And we have to challenge the American people to remember the losses that w this nation has sustained. We have to help them connect the dots and, so that they understand why securing our homeland and protecting our civil liberties is so important. HSFA believes that a strong, effective presence of security is best achieved by empowering American citizens to lawfully safeguard their valuable assets and by opening lines of communication between the public and law enforcement. Every American has a right to be a patriot. It's their civic duty to be aware and protect their neighborhood, their identities, and their valuable. There's a direct connection between civil liberties and security. Whenever civil liberties are in jeopardy, usually it's because security has been increased. The government works at a very high level. In order to help them accomplish their job, it's necessary for us to meet them halfway and give them the opportunity to introduce innovative solutions which will allow them to properly implement the new laws and protect us. That is the reason that we have created HSFA, in order to bridge the gap between the government and the American citizen. HSFA offers various programs to educate the community on how to become aware of routine crime, terrorism, and disasters in the U.S., as well as how to protect their community and their rights. When we look back to 9-11 and the disasters like Katrina and the fires in California, we see a need for synergy between the public, law enforcement, and government agencies. Post 9-11, we're all learning about homeland security at different paces. But I believe we're moving towards the same goals, which are safer communities and the preservation of our rights. I believe the face of Homeland Security will become friendlier as we engage the public and encourage citizens to help develop and advance our Homeland Security. There's a rough road ahead. There's a lot of work to do. But I believe us as a nation can work through those problems as we've done before. I can see us coming together and finding positive solutions to the problems that we're experiencing today. And I see us working with the government to help them more effectively deal with routine crime, terrorism, and natural disasters. Since September 11, 2001, our concept of securing the homeland has evolved, adapting to new realities and threats. Routine crime is growing in America. A recent FBI survey indicated that cybercrime and computer crime alone is up nearly $70 billion a year. There is a direct link between these types of, of crimes and terrorist groups. They often use the funds generated to create new operations for their terrorist groups to launch new attacks upon the United States. American superiority on the battlefield is a product not only of superior technology, but also of superior training. Technology cannot stand alone. It must be integrated with people and training. When I look to the future of HSFA, I see growth in every area of operations. But I also see a synergy developing between the public and our government, which I think is essential to the advancement of our homeland security. 
Uh, no one really knows what the future holds, but I believe in the collective strength and resolve of the American people. And I'm confident if we work together and uh, make our carrying out our civic duty a uh, high priority, uh, then we will secure a much safer America for future generations. Our best protection against terrorists in the future is truly our own people, trained by our security officers and directors. For World Business Review, I'm Michael Clark reporting.